last time man and collapsed. Trying to get more information. Unknown if he's breathing. Sky, we're good. 53 days. This is Unit 53. Radio check. How do you read? We're going to give you oxygen. The teenagers really run it to where the adults. You have no idea of the level of training they go through. It's vital that the young adults be the governing body. This is the last night's makeup training before you get brought up to the officers. Post is a very selective place. There's a huge responsibility that comes with it. I was looking for a way to extend this relationship with my son, where he could learn the dangers of drugs and alcohol by learning rather than having it preached at him. Post 53 became the very first program for emergency medical technicians. Their role is absolutely essential. Without Post 53, the whole system collapses. The age of these EMTs doesn't make any difference to me. What happens in the first minute or two after a medical emergency can mean the difference between life and death. These are some great skills that they're developing. It's real life. We have a Post 53. We have a confirmed cardiac arrest. Please respond to a construction worker with a head injury. Teenager able to handle the trauma that comes up on some of their calls. Our role here is to be mentors, to have an influence on their lives. O2 AED. If a teenager is given the opportunity, the door is open for them, they'll do it. Backboard seat collars, please. This whole experience lets you understand who you really are. We can do it if we have people willing to believe in us. Radio 53 responding. If you make assumptions about teenagers, it can be completely false. There we go. It's a privilege to be here. I consider them my family. Post completely changed my life. If it wasn't for the young people here that came to my rescue, I'd be dead. How often do you get kids to take care of you and save your life? Not every day. Everyone clear? Ready? Everyone clear? Shot.